In the latest update of DaVinci Resolve 18.6, we've got a new feature in the Deliver panel that's called Audio Normalization. So I thought we'd take a minute, talk about it, I'll show you where it is, and I'll tell you how I think that I might use it if I needed to use that option. Let's jump in Resolve, check this out. So I am in the Deliver panel here, and most of the time for me, I'm gonna use custom export settings. But you're gonna find this option in custom export and a few of the other settings here. But if we come down and we take a look in the audio section, down at the bottom here, we have an audio normalization. If you double click it, it's gonna open it up and we can turn on the normalize audio. And then we've got the ability to select the different modes that we'd like to normalize our audio. So for example, maybe I'm uploading to YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and select YouTube. It's gonna set my levels for me and normalize that audio so that it's good to go for the particular platform that I'm uploading to. Now, how would I actually use this audio normalization? Well, first of all, I think that this is a good option if you have already prepared your project for something like YouTube, where I've already set my levels to certain uh, requirements that YouTube requires, for example, minus 14 luffs. If I've already done all that work in balancing my audio levels on individual tracks, as well as checking the overall loudness level, once I've mixed my whole video together, then there's really no need for me to use this option to normalize for YouTube because I've already done all that. So I wouldn't be using this option if I'm only creating a video and uploading it to YouTube because I'm gonna do all that work inside of Resolve to just help make sure I'm meeting the levels that I wanna meet for the video when I upload it to YouTube. And another thing to keep in mind is that normalizing your audio only affects the volume. It's not gonna apply any kind of dynamics to your audio, which means it's not gonna make the loud parts a little quieter and the quiet parts a little bit louder. It's not gonna balance everything out for you. Normalizing only affects the volume of your clip. It does not apply any dynamics to your clip. And I think it's important to keep that in mind because we want to edit our audio and make it the best we can, balance everything out inside of Resolve. We can't rely on normalizing at the very end of our video to balance everything out for us, right? What this option I think is good for is if I've already gone through, done all my work, it's ready for YouTube, I, my loudness levels are good, and let's say I upload it to YouTube, but then let's say, oh, maybe I need to uh, send it over to Disney or I need to um, you know, get it ready for broadcast TV. Well, I know everything is balanced good, but now I just need to adjust the overall loudness levels of everything. And I can do that with this new option here. I would take my YouTube video, looking at Resolve here, I've got it already all set up, my levels are good where I want it, and let's say, okay, now I'm going for Disney, right? So I'm gonna go Disney 2.0. So I'm gonna select that option, and now the target loudness is only minus 24 luffs. It's not, if we look at YouTube, minus 14 luffs. So it needs to be a little bit quieter. So if I change this to Disney, well, now I don't have to go back and redo all the work to balance everything out as a whole, my loudness levels. It's gonna do it automatically for me. But it's important that you've already mixed your whole uh, video together. You've mixed your individual tracks, your dialogue, your music, your sound effects. You've already done all that work. So everything is balanced and sounds the way that you want it to sound. On the export here in the deliver panel, we're just adju adjusting the overall volume so that it meets the standards of a Disney, a Netflix, broadcast TV, YouTube, whatever it might be. So we're just taking the volume and either making it a little quieter, making it a little louder overall, which is how we're adjusting the loudness levels by using this new feature here in the deliver page of DaVinci Resolve. But I would make sure that you check your loudness levels in Fairlight using the graphs that are there, using some third-party plugins if you have that, however you wanna do it, but make sure your levels are good before you get to the deliver page so that way you're meeting your loudness levels and all your individual tracks and everything are at good levels. So that way, when you do wanna use this option, you do need to deliver for a different platform maybe, you can use this option to just adjust the overall volume to meet the loudness requirements for the given platform. So that is it, cool new feature here, I do like it, but don't just use that on your export because I don't think it's gonna give you the results that you want if you didn't balance and do everything in DaVinci Resolve before you finished your video and you're about to render it out here. So, hope this is helpful guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, as your DaVinci Resolve audio guy, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.